It's yet another adventure with HiddenInkTours.com. Here we are flying over the highlands of Peru from the coast at uh, Paracas, Pisco. And now we're about to touch down in the Inca capital of Cusco. But we're not going to be exploring Cusco today. We're going towards a town called Abancay. And there we're going to explore a place you've probably never heard of called Kiarumiok, which is located about an hour outside of Cusco. Now this site is uh, not often visited. We were there by ourselves on this day. And it's a combination of Inca stonework and also older megalithic work. Here, for example, this is likely megalithic, and there in the center you see a small stone or stones put in by the Inca as a repair. So this site is actually quite vast. Most people just go and visit the semicircle, which is where the person in the green or blue sweater is standing. But it's actually quite a huge place, and that's typical of megalithic slash Inca locations in the highlands of Peru. What we see is catastrophic damage to the location. Most people would say that this was the Spanish taking stones or taking the site apart because they thought it was pagan. But it's much more likely that the damage happened thousands of years ago, before the time of the Spanish, and indeed before the time of the Inca. And here we see precision joinery. Uh, there's moss growing in the cracks, but where the uh, moss is not located, you see the incredible tight fit and the fact that every stone is a different shape and size. So this is likely very ancient megalithic work destroyed by an ancient cataclysm and then repaired in part by the Inca. And a waterfall that you can see here. Now Dr. Teo Paredes, who's a local PhD in anthropology and also a wisdom keeper, is showing us that uh, these stones were originally part of the construction but likely fell down again during the time of a cataclysmic event in the distant past. But the main thing that we've come to visit, and again, not that many people go here on a daily basis, is this amazing semicircular shape that some believe is a moon calendar or possibly a sun calendar. Kiarumiok means the stones of the moon. So Kia is moon, Rumi is stone, and Yok is the plural of stone. And it's unique to the area. And curiously as well, there are, are many strange cutout shapes like this that again were not achieved by the Inca but are much more ancient megalithic works. A quarry? Maybe. But uh, we can't see any tool marks whatsoever. Tool marks are indicative of an Inca site but where you see no tool marks. That usually means it's much older and was shaped using some kind of very advanced technologies. So here we're heading back down again to where we started, just to give you an idea of the layout of the land. The staircase itself is an Inca construction, um, inferior to the megalithic works, which is the case in basically all cases. The Inca work in some cases is reasonably precise, but the megalithic work is far more complex. Now the wall you see in the background, the retaining wall, that is Inca. Again, here you can see that the precision of the work is not as good as what we saw previously in this video. So this is Inca work as compared to the older megalithic. 
And the best way to see any of these sites is by using a quadcopter. So this is my new baby collapsible quadcopter called Horus. And Horus is giving us a bird's eye view literally of the overall site. This is the area that we already saw previously, but thanks to the aerial abilities of Horus, we'll be able to see that this location is much, much larger than what you've seen so far. So going up, we see the location of Kiarumiak, pretty high on a mountainside with a valley below. And to the left, about an hour's drive is the city of Cusco. So here we're raising the quadcopter up and we're going to head towards an Inca retaining wall. In the far background you see more Inca work and in, in fact uh, the work keeps going farther and farther up the mountain until there's an ancient uh, cave that we explored on previous occasions that has very fine megalithic work on the inside. So now we're going to look once again at this supposed moon calendar or as engineer Arlen Andrews believes he thinks it was an ancient solar calendar. Uh, no discernible tool marks um, and again if you don't see tool marks that's indicative of incredible age and the fact that it was made using some form of high technology. And as you can see there, there are seven levels to it. Some think it's the seven chakras, so a spiritual use, or maybe it had a more pragmatic use as some kind of calendar, or maybe both. Most of the megalithic sites and even Inca places have a tendency or had a tendency to have multifunctional uses. So here again, thanks to Horus the quadcopter, we're able to see the seven levels and the very fine craftsmanship of this sculpted surface in metamorphosed limestone. Uh, limestone is quite soft, but when it's metamorphosed, then it's actually quite a bit harder. So it would have been an incredible challenge uh, for the Inca to do this with their bronze tools. And again, since we didn't see any tool marks whatsoever, you can still see tool marks on a lot of the Inca work, but because of the lack of tool marks, I'm saying that it's a construction done with lost ancient high technology and is incredibly old. Now we're able to view around and you can see on the left is the semicircle shape that we were just looking at. And now we're going to get an overall view of what goes farther up the mountain. There is Dr. Teo Paredes in front of an Inca period retaining wall with possible uh, megalithic elements having been repaired by the Inca. And again, more Inca construction higher up. And as I said, it does keep going and going and going. So there again, you can see the Inca terracing, uh, circular Inca platform of some kind, relatively modern staircase, and now a final view a little closer to the ground, letting you have a look at Kiarumiak, which again is located about an hour's drive towards the city of Abancay in the highlands of Peru. And please subscribe and hit like and also hit the little bell so that you get uh, notified when another video is about to be uploaded.